When we think about certain breeds, we think about the possibility of ear cropping and tail docking. It can be for show purposes and breed standard, working reasons or a completely different reason at all. It can really vary from breed to breed. Today we'll be taking a look at why Newfoundlands are or aren't cropped and docked. Welcome back to the Fenrir Newfoundland Show. My name's Franny and I'm a certified canine leader here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com. This channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything you could possibly want to know about Newfoundlands. Then how to become high level canine leaders that can raise perfect Newfoundlands. So if you're a lifelong Newfoundland lover, thinking about getting one or just started your journey with your new Newfoundland, then this channel is for you. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you never miss a future Newfoundland video. So let's dive into today's video and we'll take a look at why the Newfoundland is docked and cropped. But before we can understand why a breed might be cropped and docked, we need to understand what those two terms mean. Cropping is an elective procedure done to the ears of most commonly a dog. It involves surgically removing the portion of the dog's ear that makes them floppy, and then bracing the ear to train the portion that's left to remain upright. It's generally performed on puppies between 6 to 12 weeks of age and under anaesthesia. Docking is the removal of part of a dog's tail. It's generally done with surgical scissors on very young puppies while the tail is still soft as the bones have not finished hardening and fusing yet. It's generally done without anaesthesia because it's believed the very young puppies aren't alert enough to remember the pain. There's some debate among vets, dog owners and even kennel clubs as to whether the procedures are actually necessary. Tail docking is even banned in parts of the world. Unnecessary docking may cause nerve tumours on a dog's tail and cropping also has its downsides. There's always the risk of something going wrong when surgery is performed. However, some believe that there are benefits to both cropping and docking a dog's ears and tail. In a working or hunting dog, cropping and docking may help prevent injury to the body parts or keep them from getting snagged. Though most people use the procedure for cosmetic reasons such as breed standard, there will be times when a medical reason arises and cropping or docking is necessary instead of elective. So this raises the question, why are Newfoundlands cropped and docked? The Newfoundland naturally has dropped ears. You'll more than likely never see a Newfie with erect or pricked ears. The ears are heavy and fringed, which makes them even less likely to stand up or even try to while the puppy is growing. The ears are small, at least relative to the Newfoundland's massive body, and triangular in shape with rounded tips. They're set at or slightly above the brow and sit close to the head. Newfoundlands were known to work in the water and this set up, along with their coats, helps to keep water out of their ear canals. So both working and showing Newfoundland will not have cropped ears. Grooming is much more important to this breed's ears when it comes to keeping them healthy. The hair around their ears should be trimmed regularly and the ear canals cleaned with a vet approved ear cleaner to ward off any infections. It's also important to make sure their ears are dry after any sort of activity in the water. This will ensure that bacteria doesn't grow and cause an infection. The massive Newfoundland has an equally massive tail. The tail should be broad and strong at the base and straight with no kinks clear out to the tip. The tip of the tail should also be level with the hocks of the dog. When the dog is relaxed the tail should hang straight or with a slight curve at the end. When excited, the tail should be carried outward but never curl over the back. So in the show ring, a Newfoundland will never have a dock tail, but the same can be said for a working Newfie. This powerful breed was built for swimming and their tail is an important factor in that. Their strong broad tail acts as a rudder in the water to keep them balanced and upright while swimming, especially in strong currents and waves. To sum things up, the Newfoundland isn't normally a breed that has its ears cropped or its tail docked. The Newfoundland's ears and tail are an important part of the breed and their work. Its ears aren't too long that they'll get in the way and it needs its tail to keep good balance while working. So cropping and docking both would be reserved for medical cases when it comes to this canine. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If so, make sure you hit that like button, get involved in the comment section down below and don't forget, if you're new here, make Make sure you subscribe as we have three dedicated Newfoundland videos coming here every week. So I can't wait to talk to you again on the next episode of the Fenrir Newfoundland Show.